May the peace of the Lord be with you. If you look on the Church of England website and the Christian Values for Schools website, you'll find listed 15 different values. We focus on six of these values throughout the course of the school year. I wonder if you can remember which six we concentrate on. In today's story, we're going to hear about a king who exhibited several of these values in just in one short story. There's wisdom, there's service, there's justice, there's compassion, and maybe you can find some more. I hope you enjoy the story. There was a king called Shibirana, whose power was so great that the gods in high heaven began to tremble in case he should ever take their kingdoms away from them. The gods came up with a plan to test Shibirana's self-control and kindness. So one day, as Shibirani sat on his throne in his pillared hall, with the open courtyard and its gardens and fountains stretching far before, a white dove appeared, high up in the air, flying straight towards him. The dove was pursued by a fierce eagle who was trying to catch and kill it. As fast as the dove flew in its terror, the eagle flew faster. But just as it was on the point of being captured, the dove reached the throne of Shibirana. The king opened his robe, and without a moment's hesitation, the dove flew in and nestled, panting and trembling against his heart. The eagle came to a stop before the throne. His whole body blazed with anger. Everyone trembled, except Shibi Rana. How dare you take my food? Surrender him to me, said the eagle to the king in a loud voice. No, said Shibi Rana quietly. The dove has taken refuge with me, and it is my duty to protect the weak. But the dove that you have sheltered was to have been my food, said the eagle. You show your power by protecting it, and you starve me. Is that your intention? Not at all, said the king. In fact, I will give you in its place an equal quantity of any other food you choose. Did you say of any other food? said the eagle mockingly. Suppose I ask for your own flesh. Then my own flesh should be given, said Shibirana firmly. Well then, said the eagle, speaking slowly and deliberately, I want this dove to be weighed in the balance against an equal weight of the king's flesh. It shall be done, said Shibirana, motioning for the scales. So the balance was brought, and the dove was weighed against the king's own flesh. As he proceeded, however, with each addition of the king's flesh, the dove grew heavier, and the weight of the two could not be made to equal. Then the eagle saw a single tear from the left eye of Shibirana. Stop! thundered the eagle. Your tears show that this is not a willing sacrifice. No, my friend, said the king gently. You are mistaken. I weep for the dove, who I cannot protect, even with my own flesh. It's the right of a king to share the suffering of the weak. At these words, there was a blaze of light. The eagle turned into the god Indra, and the dove into Agni, the god of fire. And the voice of Indra was hushed with reverence as he said, O king, you have proved how good you are. You are more powerful than the gods, and you use your power for the good of the weak. Blessed be thou. Hi everyone, it's Jaya from Year 4, and I would like to end this assembly with a prayer. God has wrapped this summer day like a surprise present. God has wrapped it in the soft white mist of the morning. But look, an angel has untied the ribbons of a golden sunlight, and there is the day, a perfect clear blue day for me. Amen.